Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for tuning in. Today I'm gonna to be going over my cloth diaper routine and a little bit of a review between the two different types of diapers that I use. Basically, every other day I do a load of laundry. I'll do one cycle that's a rapid wash for 13 minutes on medium temperature. And I do like a little bit of detergent. And then after that wash is done, I'll run it again on hot, hot heat on the heaviest cycle that my washing machine does and I'll put like two times the amount of detergent that I did on the first load and if there's any diapers that have an extreme stain on them an extreme extreme poop stain I'll spray it with a diluted solution of detergent before um, I run that second hot wash um, and then after that hot wash is done I hang it up on our drying rack and I will hang it I'll leave that drying rack outside on our balcony. And I usually like to do my laundry before 12 o'clock. I, I want it to be finished by the time it's 12 o'clock so that I can leave it out on the balcony and it will get that afternoon sun to sun bleach. Um, it is getting a little bit darker earlier now, so I don't have as much drying time and it's not as hot um, when I'm letting it out to sun bleach and dry. But if there are stains that haven't been removed, basically what I'll do is I'll soak them in an OxyClean solution and that will get out any of the stains. So I'll soak it in OxyClean and then I'll run it again in the washer just to do like a rinse cycle. Another addition that I add to my washing cycles if there are diapers that are really, really stained are washing jacks. I found them on Amazon and I saw a review of someone who also does cloth diapers and they specifically said that it really helped them get the, the stains out just because it adds more friction into the washing machine, especially if you have a top loader washing machine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The baby's here playing. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you have a top loader washing machine, there's not as much of agitation that's going on in the washing machine in, in the washing drum as much as there, it is like um, a lateral face. I don't know if that's what it's called. There, there's not as much agitation in a top loader washing machine. So adding the washing jacks really helps get some friction going and like it kind of like beats out the stains a little bit more. Me and my husband are renters. So one of our hesitations with continuing with cloth diapers was the fact that we don't have a washer and dryer in unit. The washer and dryer for this apartment building is downstairs and it's shared with everyone else that's in this apartment complex. We actually don't do our laundry in that laundromat. We go to a separate one that is a couple streets away from where we live, but I don't really feel comfortable doing cloth diapers. Bless you. I don't feel comfortable doing cloth, diaper, cloth diapers at that location. It's a really nice laundromat and I don't think that they would even allow you to do cloth diapers or to wash cloth diapers over there. So our solution was to get a compact washing machine to have here um, in our apartment. Um, and one of the criteria that we needed for that washing machine was that it needed to have a spin cycle and it needed to be able to drain out. And that's exactly what we got. We even used the washing machine before we had the baby, just washing our delicates, things that needed to be hung dry, and it worked out really well because it it's a gentle cycle and it drains itself. Um, our washing machine has six different settings. It can do a normal wash, a heavy wash, a spin cycle, a gentle wash, and a rapid and also a soak. Um, the soak function is really great. I've used it before on diapers that had a significant amount of poop stains on them. So I loaded all the diapers in there, put some OxyClean and let it soak. That soak setting does it for about an hour and a half as well. It's an hour and a half um, long wash and it really helps get those stains out as well. Since we live on a corner unit, no one passes by our area to get to their apartment. Because of that, we felt comfortable being able to leave our cloth diapers on a drying rack 
outside. If you don't live in an apartment that allows you to hang your cloth diapers outside, I've also read that you can hang it near the window inside and just leave the blinds open and as long as it's getting direct sunlight, it should be able to sun bleach as well. I've also heard that if it's a cloudy day, it'll still do it because there's still UV rays that are coming through your window. Um, I've never tried it with it just through the window. I've always been able to do it outside, but I would give it a shot if it's something that, um, that you had to absolutely do. So I have two different types of cloth diapers that I use. The first one are from a company called Assembly Diapers. They look like this. Oops. So assembly diapers are a combination of a cotton inner and a polyester outer. And this is actually 100% recycled polyester with a waterproof TPU laminate. That's what that is. I was actually gifted these diapers by my sister. She gave us 12 of the inners and four of the outers. Assembly diapers come in two sizes. Size one is for a seven pound to a 17 pound baby. And then size two is from 17 pounds to a 35 pound baby. Right now we just have size one diapers. Um, so we were gifted 12 of the inners and then I purchased another 12 um, on my own and then also another two of the outers. I really like these diapers. When you get these in, you can just tell that the quality of the inner is so, so good. It feels really soft, very plush. And actually when it's on your baby, it's not as, it's not as fluffy on the baby as a Nora's nursery diaper is, which I'll go over in a minute. Um, this is actually, I would say a little bit more close to what a regular diaper, what the width and feel of a regular diaper would be like. Um, assembly diapers are, in my opinion, on the higher price point of cloth diapers. Um, but like I said, the quality is really, really great. Another thing that I really like about these diapers, the fact that they are an inner and an outer is once I wash them, there's no prep work that I need to do um, after they I take them out of the wash and dry them. I just put this on, on her and then I put this on her. There have been occasional leaking, but no blowouts. And what I mean by like no blowouts is like none of the poop is getting on her clothing. I have experienced leaking around the leg openings. So if she has an excessive amount of pee in her diaper, sometimes it will leak through even past the outer and it'll get onto her clothes. But that's about the extent of, of um, messiness that is with these diapers. Blowouts, none. Leaking, yes, a little bit, um, occasionally. And actually she hasn't had any leaks in a while and I think it's because when I put these on her when she was um, the appropriate weight, she still didn't have chunky, chunky thighs. So I think around this area, it wasn't gripping as well. So if she moved around, it might have like seeped through. I only noticed it when she would pee while I was feeding her. So the side that she would be laying on was the side that there would be leaking onto her clothes, um, which was strange. But again, I think it was just because her thighs weren't chunky enough to like really fill out the leg openings. But now she's got some gains, so it's all good. Another great thing about assembly diapers is that the company has experience with, clo with laundering cloth diapers. They started a business based in New York that launders cloth diapering for you. So they're pretty experienced in that. And when they created assembly diapers, they created a whole washing system that you can purchase along with um, your diapers. So they have, they have their own washing agitators, they have their own washing detergent, they even have reusable wipes and a um, wiping solution that you put on those wipes. I don't have any of those stuff, I just have the diapers, but the fact that they have all those other things to do a full set um, is really convenient because they also offer um, 
easy payments as well. Like you don't have to pay for everything up front when you purchase it. You can um, elect to do um, payments, monthly payments, which is great because if you are trying to save a little bit of money or like not spend so much at, at once, that makes it a little bit easier to do these pricier diapers with better quality, but on a pricing schedule that works for you. The only other thing that I would say about assembly diapers is because they do come in two sizes, that might make it a little bit more expensive than you would want it to be because you're buying a set for them at one size and then buying another set at a different size. So 24 diaper, 24 inners is what, all that I need for her to be able to wash every other day. And if I needed to get more diapers for her after she's past the 17 pound limit, that just means that's more money that I'm spending. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna be actually getting assembly diapers um, in the size two yet. Maybe I'll just get a couple. So now I'll move on to the Nora's nursery diapers. So the great thing about Nora's nursery diapers is that it goes from a 10 pound baby to a 35 pound baby. So there's all these snaps here that adjust to the size of your baby, um, which is great because that means the longevity of this is more than this. And another thing about the Norris Nursery diapers that I like is that it's way, way more affordable. You can get them in four packs and you can get them in seven packs. The four packs come with a bamboo insert for each diaper and then the seven pack also comes with a bamboo insert for each diaper, but it also comes with a wet bag too. They were sold out for a really long time, right when the pandemic hit, because I think, you know, everyone was stocking up on diapers and diaper wipes and all that stuff. And cloth diapers kind of had this resurgence of popularity. So they were sold out for quite some time, but they're back. So if you're looking for a more affordable option, you can find these on Amazon as well as their own website. I really like that there's a variety of colors and prints. We have, I think, again, another like 24 of, of these guys in, in some solids and some prints. We were um, gifted a couple of the diapers and then also I had put them on my baby registry on Amazon, but during that time, that's when they were all sold out. So one thing about the Norris Nursery Diapers is as you can tell, it's way more fluffier than the assembly diapers. And that's because we put two inserts in each of these diapers. So even though the pack comes with one, I still had to purchase extra of the inserts to make sure that I had two for every diaper. And the reason I did that was because most people who use the Norris Nursery Diapers said that they put two inserts instead of just the one. We haven't tried it with just one one insert. I, I'm i too scared <laughs> to, to try it with just one diaper, uh, especially since even after she pees, when I take the inserts out, I can feel that both of the inserts are saturated with pee. So I feel like two is good. I haven't felt the need to use three, but I do know some people say you can insert as many inserts as you need in order for it to soak up everything. But right now she's peeing at a two insert level. Also with Norris Nursery Diapers, this takes a little bit more prep time. So after you're washing and after you're drying, you still need to stuff all your diapers. That way it's already ready to go once you're doing changings. Otherwise that would be really, really time consuming during changing times. So there's a little bit more of like, you know, fluff and fold time on this as opposed to this where you can just wash it, dry it, put it in the bag or put it in the basket. I have also experienced occasional leaking on this as well. Again, no blowouts, nothing's coming out of the waist or the leg openings. But again, near the stitch at the leg openings, the other day, I think it was last Friday, she had a poop a big one. And again, it didn't come out the waist or the leg openings, but at the stitch, it was starting to seep through um, near this stitch and it stained on the outside and it stained on her um, on her onesie as well. So it wasn't just like pee seeping through, it was like the wet poop seeping through. It's not as much as what an actual blowout would be, but I did experience a little bit of occasional leaking on this guy, so I wouldn't say that it's 
uh, blowout proof and I wouldn't say that either of these are like 100% blowout proof because you just never know maybe your baby has like just an insane one that day and these can only do so much. The main reason we're doing cloth diapers is because it reduces our carbon footprint. I'm not saying that I'm a 100% sustainable zero waste lifestyle person but I'm trying to be. Um, there have been a couple of things that I've been able to replace in my day to day so that I'm not using disposable items um, and this is one of them. I don't know how it's gonna be once I do go back to work. Um, I've been able to keep up this routine mainly because I'm still at home. But once I go back to work, I am curious to see how this will change, if it'll affect it at all, if I'll have time to wash every other day. Another concern I have is once she starts eating solids, when her poop changes, I don't know how that's gonna change my routine as well because I know once they start eating solids, then that's when you have to empty the poop into the toilet. I've seen some people have those like bamboo liners um, that are supposed to be flushable, but they're not. None, nothing is ever flushable other than toilet paper. Let's be real. I guess I'll just see how that plays out once we get there. If anyone has any tips or tricks or you know advice, on when you transition from a cloth diaper that is solely breastfed to a cloth diaper that has solids, please let me know. I am very interested. I know that you can also get the toilet sprayer as well, but I'm just more curious to know the added time that it takes if, if it's really a big deal or if you haven't really noticed anything at all. Are you okay? She's getting kind of fussy. <laughs> Do you see her bald spot? It's beautiful. Hmm. Say hello. Do you want to say hello? Oh my gosh, look at that beautiful face. Another reason why people like using cloth diapers is because the prints are so cute. The colors are so cute. Putting a baby in just a t-shirt and a diaper is the cutest thing. It's very Tommy Pickles and I really like it. Nora's Nursery has a ton of colors and a ton of prints. I mean, anything that is your style, you can find it on Nora's Nursery. It is a little bit um, counterintuitive, counterproductive. I mean, the fact is that you're trying to do cloth diapers to minimize to be a little bit more to have a stash and then that's all that you use but they keep coming out with cute colors and cute prints and then you want to buy them all and then you end up having a bigger stash than you actually need but is it worth it because the diapers are cute yeah assembly diapers has a total of 13 solid colors and prints um that's their original collection and then they also did a collaboration with Winter Water Factory and they have four prints that are a little bit more eclectic. Um, so there's definite, they're definitely branching out on their styles of outers, but I think they're a little bit more minimal in terms of what they're, what they're providing to their customers. So the great thing about doing cloth diapers is that once you establish your stash, you never have to buy diapers again, especially in the long term when you have additional babies. Some cloth diapers won't fit a newborn, so that's something to keep in mind. Um, neither the Nora's Nursery or the Assemblies will fit a newborn. Um, even though the Assembly diapers are supposed to fit a seven pound, can fit a seven pound baby, when we put them on our daughter, who was seven pounds when she was born, she was still kind of skinny. And again, we experienced occasional leaking around her leg openings when um, when she would wear the assembly diapers. So we did start out with disposables. We got a bunch of disposable diapers from our baby shower, so it's not like we went and bought any. Um, same thing with wipes. We've been gifted a bunch of wipes and have yet to purchase any, and she's already almost three months old. I'm not sure yet if I want to transition to reusable wipes. Um, I'm sure it's literally the same thing as just um, adding it to the laundry or adding it to our diaper pail. Um, but I don't know. <laughs> I guess it's just that extra step of 
wetting the cloth diaper and my concern of whether or not it's it will remove everything all at once and I'm, I'm still considering it but we still have a lot of cloth uh, we still have a lot of disposable wipes to go through so I still have some time to think about it but let me know if you guys are going from disposable wipes to reusable wipes or if you already use reusable wipes and how you add that to your routine so if you are considering cloth diapers some things to keep in mind are whether or not you want to put up all your money up front for cloth diapers. Again, Assembly Diapers has a great like financing program um, where you don't have to pay all at once for everything. Um, and there are some affordable options. You can even buy some secondhand. We didn't choose to go that route because we didn't feel comfortable, but I'm sure that everyone that resells their cloth diapers washed, washes them and anyone who buys secondhand cloth diapers washes them again and you can even strip your diapers too if you feel like really, really uncomfortable. I think one of the biggest things that was holding us back from doing cloth diapers was just because it, it was something new. We've never done it before. We had never done it before and because it's new, we're not sure how it would play out, but we just kind of had to do it. So if you're trying to go from disposables to cloth diapers, you don't have to do it 100% all the way full time. Just get a couple for, you know, enough to last you the weekend and try it out. Um, maybe not even a full weekend, maybe just a day, or maybe just get two to try it out and see if, you know, if you do a load and it's not a big deal, maybe it'll work for your day to day. For us, we've found that we've been able to keep up our routine and it's been a pretty easy transition from the disposables to the cloth diapers. So we're pretty satisfied with, um, with, with our experience doing cloth diapering. I think that's everything that I wanted to cover. So overall cloth diapering is good for the environment, easy on your pocket in the long term, cute and stylish. And, um, yeah. Th those are three good reasons, I think. <laughs> right? Okay. Well, if anybody has any other questions about our cloth diaper routine or our cloth diaper laundering routine, um, in anything in regards to the assembly diapers or the Nora's nursery diapers, leave a comment below and I'll try to get back to you if you have any questions. Or if you have any tips and tricks, leave them in the comments for the community. Let us know what am I doing wrong? What should I be doing to add to my cloth diaper routine to make it easier on myself? I'm very curious to know any working mothers, how it works for you when you do cloth diapers once you go back to work. Has it been the same? Has it been more difficult? What has made it easier? What's made it more difficult? Like what kind of, what kind of, um, what kind of obstacles are you experiencing? So yeah, let me know, let us know, the whole cloth diapering community I'm very interested. But thanks for tuning in. Really appreciate it. And if you want to see more of this adorable, cutie little baby, subscribe. Like this video. Support my channel. Thanks for watching. Say thank you for watching. Yeah. Say bye bye. Later.